What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the summer season of series number 15. Today we're driving around in our TVR Griffith that we unlocked in the last video by completing the Not So Silent Night Seasonal Championship. Uh, but today we're going to be jumping in and continuing through the Seasonal Championships with the Toys Under the Tree. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can see our car restrictions here for this road racing championship is S9, S1 900 and we've got to use a track toy. So um, we will get the Jaguar F-Type for completing this championship, which is kind of underwhelming, but it is what it is. So we're going to jump over here and see what races we've got. We already know we have one circuit race. I'm assuming we'll have nothing but circuit races. That is correct. All right, here we go with our first one, with the Mahayo the Plano circuit. And we're jumping in to the 2014 BAC Mono or Bach Mono. Um, and then up on the screen, you will see the tune sheet for the car and the tune that we're using. So we'll see what this thing can do. Um, and see how easy it is or easy it makes it. Hopefully it's pretty easy. Um, something to note in each of these races for this championship, I will use three different cars. Um, you do not have to do that. I just do that to provide you guys some extra content and different options that can be used um, in the championship. So you can find one car that works out well for you and use it in all three. Um, and you'll be perfectly fine. So let's see if we can catch up to, I think that's a um, Caterham up in first that is absolutely flying through this circuit right now. If we don't come in first, that's not a big deal. Um, you don't have to come in first in all three of these races. Um, it is points based since it is a championship. So depending on where you finish, you'll get points. Um, so you just have to make sure you've got more points than the Drivatars at the end of the three races. I feel like we're catching a little. Keep the peg through there, keep the peg through here. On the brakes through here. Yeah, we're catching him. We should be able to get him on this last lap, I think. As much as we, uh gained on him through there as long as we have some clean turns so we're gonna dive in a little bit we gotta drive a little dirty against these drive guitars so we're fine with that don't do it against actual players online but these ai are sometimes a little ridiculous you gotta drive them into a wall kind of humble themselves um you know so that's what it is. So we've got just a little bit under half a lap left in this first race in our BAC Mono, and it's absolutely killing it. So um, if you want to take anything away from this race, drive drive tires into the wall. That might be the best way to win. So, all right, there's the first place finish for race number one. We'll take a look at the leaderboard. Um, and I'll show you a little bit what I'm talking about, but we'll be able to take a better look at it after the second race. So on the far right there, you can see we got 20 points for coming in first. If I hit continue, this is the championship leaderboard. This is where we're really worried about. And we are in first right now with 20 points because we won that race. So like I said, we'll take a better look after the second race and I'll see you guys as we jump into that and into our next car. All right, here we go. Chihuahua circuit. And we're jumping into the 2016 BMW M4 GTS. Tune sheet for the car and tune we're using will be up on the screen. Doesn't look like we've got that cater on. Oh, it's just red now. Okay. So it is up in first. That's okay. Should be able to catch it. Hopefully. Again, just dive into it a little bit. You gotta use what you can against these drive guitars because sometimes they won't give you an inch. Uh, this thing feels really good. Feels really planted already. And we're up in the first. So we're looking good. Um, as I said, I am gonna use three different cars in this video. And you only have to choose one 
Um, I just use three just to give you guys different options, because not everybody will have every single car I have, because uh, everybody might not have this BMW, but you may have the BAC. So that's one reason. Um, and then, you know, it just provides some additional content instead of you watching me go around in circles in just one car, right? Um, you've got three different cars to look at, but we're looking good. I think to keep this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'm just going to skip towards the end of that third lap unless anything interesting or funny happens. So I'll see you guys here in just a second as we approach that finish line. Okay, and just the final little turn there. And across the line with a little bit of style. I really like the M4. Uh, that is such a good car. That tune worked out really well for us. It definitely felt fast. It sounded amazing. Um, but you can see there we got 20 more points for coming in first. We were 9 seconds ahead. Oh, that's 8 seconds. Sorry, my math is awful. Um, 8 seconds ahead of the Drivatars. We got 20 more points for winning that race. As you can see, we are at 40 in total. We are 10 points ahead of second place as we go into our final race. So we'll jump into that and jump into our final car. All right, here we go with the Playa Azul circuit. And we are jumping in to a car that we unlocked last week, the 2018 McLaren 600 LT Coupe. And the tune sheet will be up on the screen for you. And we'll see what this thing can do. Try to knock the Ford Mach E out of the way. Already up on the inside, into the back of the Hot Wheels Mustang. Looking good, hard on the brakes. Got just Camaro ahead of us. Be able to take that turn a little bit faster than they do, and bam, past them. We are up into first in our 600 LT Coupe. A little tapping of the brake there to get around that turn. This thing feels really good. Um, like I said, we did unlock this last week. Um, that's one of the reasons that I did choose, choose it. Um, just because there are probably a good amount of people that do have it from playing the festival playlist last week. Um, and it's just generally an awesome car in any way. We do have that Camaro kind of sticking around with us, don't we? We're looking good so far. Careful with that water there. That could really ruin a race for you. Um, I do have rewinds on, and I do encourage you to have rewinds on, just because they don't penalize you for having them on, and they don't penalize you for using them. All they can do is potentially save a race for you. I'm trying to block the Camaro, and I wasn't paying attention to where I was going, so. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter if you've got them on. It's always good to just have them there as a safety blanket, more or less. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to let that Camaro pass us. Um, just to show you guys that you don't have to come in first in all three of these races. Um, I think I am going to let him pass. Um, let's see. But just so that it is understood that I'm going to let him pass and that we did have first place here. So on this straightaway, let's slow down. Come on, Mr. Buddy. All right. And we are going and then we'll just kind of follow him through the rest of this lap well we could have passed him again already we're just gonna chill out behind him We've got the rest of the pack coming up on us so we're gonna make sure that none of them pass us but this Camaro seemingly got a lot slower once it got out in front of us Because he was sure battling with us last lap. So we could have passed him right there. Let off the gas again. I'm just going to sit here and draft behind him. We're definitely a lot faster out of the turns than he is. Because we could have probably got by him again here. Definitely could have gotten inside there. So he may just have faster. Okay, I thought I heard another car beside us. Freaked out for a second. Um, but there we go. 
So that's a second place victory or finish for us, not victory. Again, that's what we wanted, just to show you guys. Um, so now as we go to the podium here, be sure, so you can see we got 16 points. Um, so we got 56 total on the championship, which gets us a victory. So when I hit continue, it's going to show us the race podium. Okay, the race podium. This isn't the championship podium. So if I hit continue, I won't be, so that is the race podium. So I did not finish first in the race, so I'm not on the first place podium. But we did get that F-type uh, Jaguar. So we did win the championship. All right, so there is the Toys Under the Tree Seasonal Championship completed here in the summer season of series number 15. And you can unlock this Jaguar F-type. Mine's a little done up because I've already had one. This one looks a ton better in my opinion. It can get a wide body, so um, definitely a cool car to pick up for just that alone. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. I should have the rest of the festival playlist coming out onto the channel throughout the rest of today. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you in the next video.